before I begin, I just like to thank the organizer, my beautiful team for organizing this wonderful event, especially to West Esther. Esther flew all the way this this morning just to be here, um, and of course, it wouldn't happen without the teamwork as, uh, which all of you has uh, been involved. This is so far the toughest speech I have to make. For the past five years, this will be the most difficult speech I have to make. Now, before I became the first ambassador to Cambodia, um, I was given a choice whether I could go to Europe or Southeast Asia. And I choose Europe. Um, but my principal, Secretary General, said, no, you're not going to Europe, you're going to Southeast Asia, because they need you there. So I do not understand why they need me there, but then I understand when two weeks before I depart to Cambodia, I have to rescue 47 Malaysians from uh, illegal activities. So I was given four hours to solve it, which we managed to solve it. That was my first task before even I landed to Cambodia. So it was very difficult, but very experienced. Now on top of that, we have five wonderful years, four prime ministers. So I have done four prime ministers. Every visit has some new experience. First we told Mahade, very tough cookie. And then you had COVID-19, where we rescued 500 Malaysians with five flights. And then we did We Care, We Share campaign, and then we changed of government. Then come Tansi Muhyiddin, he wanted to do a bilateral, first time virtual online, and we do virtual bilateral and ASEM. Then change of government again. We had then Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri, that was the ASEAN uh, ASEAN Summit, 286 meeting where we held, we have all the the commotion we had that time, everybody was getting COVID, we are only working with skeleton team, we, I think only four of us, but we make it through, then we change government again, <laughs> and then we have sea game, and then after sea game, of course, we have 300 athletes, we did that again, we do that with um, flying colors. And then we Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, hopefully our last, and, uh, now the present Prime Minister. Then we have general election, and then the government of Komodo have a new leader, Hun Manit. And then this year, Hun Manit came to Malaysia for his official visit, so I have completed my my mission. I have leaders coming to Cambodia and Cambodia going to Malaysia. So I've done my job. So I completed everything. <laughs> the more important thing is, in fact, Dr. Aldin not only attend all the function and he he's uh, so down to earth. He going around. I think this is throughout my 20 over years in Cambodia that I've seen the ambassador is visiting a lot of uh, Malaysian, not, not only Malaysian, uh, we call the big corporation, big businesses, is also visiting some of the SME, some of the entrepreneurs and some of startup, and also some of the, we, we, we call the underprivileged in terms of the orphanage and NGO and all these things. So this is to show that in fact, there's a, in terms of the the, in his eyes, I think he see more than what the official duty rested on him. I think he had put up the Malaysian flag uh, very high. And of course, we are fortunate because uh, uh, when I took over the presidency, I think I'm very lucky to have uh, meet with Dr. Eldin at again. He always say that we are same age. So we are born of uh, year 74. So we suppose, we, uh, I mean, we are the tiger anyway. So uh, I think that is the one that how I can click with him. 
and thanks to him that uh, he had putting a lot of because because of Dato Eldin, he had putting a lot of uh, force on me that in fact not only on me is on the whole Malaysian community that we have to behave and we have to we have to put our image to the level that we want to everyone know that Malaysia present here is not not only doing business not only making money but we are here to show our friendship uh, and then the more important thing that I just want to share with you because we, we have a lot of function Raya, Chinese New Year and all these things one of the things that I think a lot of other national is feel I don't want to use like jealousy but they always come to me that when they attended our event they feel something is missing in their own event which is I think the spirit of unity that we have and especially I think everyone can feel uh, I think one of the, our signature event will be Madeka. So I believe that I'm also so proud up to today, even the Taiwanese, even the Hongkies, when they see the way we stand up, we yell, we feel our flag, they are feeling that uh, something is, they are also feeling that this is something that only Malaysian, only Malaysian community can be so united in the country whereby we are our, our moment, our emotion have made them feel that we are unique. So I think that is the one that I think in the, in the current situation, whatever they're happening in Malaysia or whatever, so I, I think this is the one that we, we have done so well here to show that Malaysian, we are in one, we are united regardless of races, regardless of religious. In here, we are more in the eye of other people, we are one of the, the only kind that we have exhibited our desire, just want to be one family under one country and under one flat. Yeah.